Hey everyone, Madcrafter360 here, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and building LEGO Minecraft set number 21180, The Guardian Battle. It has 255 pieces, and it comes with 7 figures. It comes with 3 new axolotl figures, 1 pink, 1 blue, 1 yellow, a new diver skin with a trident, a new glow squid, and a guardian and elder guardian. Take a look at the back of the box. First thing we'll see is that it unfortunately has thumb flaps, so that's going to be pain to open as usual. But we can also see that this set has one play feature, which is uh, not as much as any of the others have opened, but still pretty cool. It allows you to, when you swing the tail of the Elder Guardian, it shoots a projectile out of it, as if it's like the lasers that they shoot in game, which is pretty cool. There's a little back attachment that you can put on the player, make it seem like the actual autos are swimming around them. And just an overall display of the set which showcases the front of an ocean monument in a coral reef setting. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get to opening the actual set now. All right, this one. All right, I don't even have to open the bottom one. Just like the, what was it? The rune portal in the horse stable. Let's see, it was just, there we go, there we go. All right, we have, Bag two. Bag one. We have the instructions. And that's it. Alright, let's put the instructions to the side. Put bag two to the side as well. And yeah. Let's adjust the camera a bit. All right, let's get building. for the time lapse. Let's get to the actual review portion of the video. So first, let's move all the figures out of the way so we can look at the, the build of the set itself. Alright, so without all the figures on it, the build is very plain, I feel like. Uh, it's a nice, it's still a nice piece to have, but uh, yeah, it's very plain and empty without the figures. Like, I feel like if they added a bit more to the monument in the back here, like, it definitely would have made the set probably, like, $10 more expensive, but I feel like it would have made it look a lot better. I'm not complaining, though. It still looks pretty good, especially for a $20 set. But, yeah, there's not really much else to say. There's some sea pickles here using uh, the new candle pieces. I did not mean to do that. I meant to break it in half. Okay, well. The sea pickles are using the new candle piece, like the uh, the one that was in, what was it, the training grounds. So yeah, it's neat to see more of these in different colors. I believe the glow squid also had, uh, the glow squid also has the new candle piece in this color as well. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a uh, one singular brick here. It's the candle piece in the, the neon green or whatever it is color. And there was some also in the Elder Guardian too for some reason, but yeah. I see more of these candle pieces. There's also uh, the dead bush piece in green, which is very interesting. Could probably use it for like some kind of fancy flower or something like a rose bush, if you want to put it in the overworld. And then just like in the coral reef, there's some uh, pink coral blocks, yellow coral blocks, red coral blocks, and there's some red, red, yellow, pink, and blue coral flowers or whatever they're called. And then again, just like in the coral reef, there's also some kelp. So a couple pieces here, and then just one on the top of the monument. Yeah, there's not really much to say about this build other than uh, it's pretty cool and basic. 
Again, I like the inclusion of the, the ocean monument thing. Adds further depth to the, the, you know, the guardians are here and stuff. So it's the ocean monument. I don't really know what I'm saying anymore. But anyway, let's get, uh, let's take a look at the figures now, shall we? Here we have the diver figure. Uh, the only actual minifigure in the set, but it's a new skin, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can see that it's it's a, literally wearing a scuba suit. It's got a, a gray helmet. And uh, I got to Let's take off this back attachment here so we can see the back of the torso. The torso printing is very simple on this one. Uh, just a few colors. There's some gold, and gold printing and gray printing. Pretty basic. It's basically the same on the back. Uh, actually, there's like a there's a slight difference, but yeah. Uh, uh, gray arms. Uh, interestingly, uh, the torso and leg colors the same color they use for uh, leather armor. So like, I guess if you wanted to, you could just uh, if you wanted to, I guess you could just take the legs off and put them on a a different Minecraft figure to use as like leather pants or something. I don't know. Uh, just like in the. Uh, not the coral reef, in the, the horse stable, and then also the sky tower, which is a set I still don't have. Uh, it has a trident piece, and it comes with two of them, so that's interesting. I wonder why Lego decided to include two tridents in any set with a trident. Again, not complaining, because uh, the more tridents, the better. And then, yeah, as I said before, there's a, there's a neck attachment that you can put two of the axolotls on. On the instructions in the box, it shows the, the red and... not the red... Uh, the pink and blue axolotls on the on the attachment, but you could obviously take them off and uh, switch it for the yellow axolotl too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Other than that, there's not really much else to say about this figure other than it's pretty neat. It's nice to get a new skin for the set. And yeah, let's move on to the next figures. And the reason I said figures at the end of the last one is because now we're going to be taking a look at the axolotls. Uh, okay, let's look at one of them at a time. So... The axolotls are really cute looking. They have a, they have a brand new mold for the body. And as of right now, it comes in three different colors. It comes in pink, uh, this interesting blue color, and then uh, this orangish yellow color as well for three of the axolotls. I'm pretty sure in Minecraft there's four axolotls, but one of them is like really rare. So I, it makes sense why they didn't include it in this set, but yeah, it's still really cool to get a. Uh, uh, the newer mobs in some of these sets. Uh, the only... And, uh, there's a little... There's, a, there's an attachment there at the end for you to put the axolotl head on. Let's just put it on sideways just because it looks funny. Uh, yeah, well, I'll just leave it on like that. But yeah, so I guess if you wanted to, you could also just, uh... Here, I have, I have the extra axolotl heads just stacked on top of each other. You can make a, a mega axolotl. No, I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, the axolotls are really cute. It's nice to have them in three different. It's nice to have them in three of the four different colors you can see them in game. And yeah, it's a great job Lego for uh, keeping the sets up to date by adding new mobs and stuff. Really cool. Speaking of keeping sets up to date with new mobs, we have the glow squid. It's a very cool looking figure. It's very similar to the squid from the Ocean Monument set, which I unfortunately don't have. But, uh, as far as I can tell, the only difference is, uh, uh, one, the colors, and two, uh, the glow squid printing for the face, which is really cool. You know, the tentacles can, uh, they can move around and stuff. You can make it so, you can make it so it's swimming, so, like, and just swims more. And then, uh, as we saw earlier, there's a little neck attachment that, uh, you stick it into this hole right here, and you can just, like, uh, you can just plop it anywhere on the set, as if it's just uh, swimming or floating around. Yeah, there's not really much else to say. Uh, like I said before, it uses the new candle piece for the side detailing. Can I take off the face, actually? Let's see if I can... Yeah, so... You can tell by the hole that this is the new candle piece, so that's... It's pretty cool how, like, this is, it's, it's a new piece, but they already have it in so many different colors. They have it in white. They have it in this, uh... I don't know, it's the same color green they use for Yoda's figure, for Yoda minifigures. And now this uh, neon greenish color. So yeah, pretty cool. Again, props to LEGO for putting new mobs in sets so soon and stuff.
Next, we have the Guardian. This is the second time this figure's appeared in the set. The first time was uh, the Ocean Monument set, just like the squid. And uh, not really much. There's only much to say about it, honestly. It's really nicely built. I like the uh, the printing on the front with the the one eye, very menacing. I like the I I like what they did for the uh, the little thorn parts that go out of them. They just use a bunch of uh, these. I don't know what they're called, but they they attach like these other pieces that I also don't know what they're called. They attach them on them and stuff, and yada yada yada. The build looks really good. I like how they did the tail. Where it's very it's very dynamic movement, kind of like in the game. Uh, I'm getting off track here. I don't know what else to say. There's not really much to say about it. Oh, uh, they did come with this uh this interesting bit here. It's a transparent trans blue two by two jumper, which uh I think there was one of those in the uh, the training ground set. Don't remember for sure. And they have one of these pieces attached on top of it, so you can uh, attach it to the bottom of the Guardian and just have it... It can be like a stand. You can have it float around the set, or just like with the squid, you can just put it somewhere on the set. If I can get it to stay. There we go. Yeah, pretty cool how they have a stand. They have one for the Elder Guardian, too, which I will show you in a sec. But yeah, Guardian, great figure. Glad to see it in a, a newer set. And yeah. Now let's look at the Elder Guardian. And last but not least, we have the Elder Guardian. It's very similar to the regular Guardian, except it's bigger. And it uses a different design for the uh, uh, the thorns or whatever they're called that stick out of them. It also has, it has a similar stand to that of the regular Guardian, except it has a, a clear cone piece at the bottom instead of a, the smaller piece, mainly because the bottom of it is built different. And as I'm sure you noticed, there's a little hole in the mouth here. And when you flick his tail, let's let's take this guy here. We'll just put him right here. Okay. When you flick his tail, he just there we go. Oh, and the axolotls just got sent flying. That's lovely. Uh, yeah, the projectile got sent over here. Yeah, I feel like it works really well. Uh, as we can see, the our diver got knocked over. I think uh, it's very interesting how they did the mouth. I don't I don't know if I'm a fan of how they did the uh, like the slopes. How go into that? But I'm not really a fan. I feel like they could just use uh, some regular bricks there instead of the slopes. But I'm not really complaining. It's fine. I like how I like the tail design. It's upside down, so you can have this piece attached to it. Again, so you can activate the play feature. And yeah, it's built similarly to the the regular Guardian. How it's oh, I shot the thing. How it's very articulate. Yeah, pretty cool. Nice to have an older Guardian in the set. Like I said, with the Guardian and the the squid, it hasn't been in the set since the Ocean Monument from a few years ago. So yeah, nice to have an older Guardian in my collection. And, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to say. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, yeah, have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.